Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Alright, I am so excited to share what I have today because today is something slightly different but um, still a bit of trend based, um, still a bit of unbalancing um, base. It's like an anime as usual. Now fit together, just roll down the mat. Put your hands next to the body, your palms are facing up towards your eyes. Relax your neck, your face, your neck. Relax your shoulders, your arms, wrists, and fingers. Relax your chest and your abdomen. Relax your hips, your thighs, your neck. Relax your calf muscles, your ankles and toes. Feel your body sinking to the mat and feel your body relax. Your 
back to center and get it tighter. And you pull the right knee towards your chest. Do the left hamstring stretch. Now I've been working out a little bit more than usual. So I feel a bit of stiffness in this area. So if you stay here, or maybe you may need to do the same thing with love. Not out of time to drop your legs to the right side. You know what so you And you want to feel the release over here. The side of your body and also down to your lower back. You feel a very deep twist, which is very nice twist. And again, if you stay here for about a minute or two, just like you would, you would do in a yin yoga class, that would really make a difference, especially if you've just got enough or you've got a good pain. on your mat behind your ears. Taking your left leg down, that makes your left leg is straight on your mat. Inhale. As you exhale, take your left elbow to your right knee up and down. Let's have that six rounds. And up and down. Exhale, twist. Inhale, down. Twist and down. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. The other side now. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. both feet on your mat. Remember to actually tuck your tailbone so that your back is flat on the mat. This is to protect your back. Okay. Really press that lower back towards the mat. That means, which means no hollow back in between your mat and the lower back. Hands. You want to get your hands behind your ears again. So what you want to do is you want to crunch up, exhale. Okay. Inhale down, exhale up. Alright. We'll have that say seven rounds. Let's do this. In Exhale up and touch. Up and touch. Up and touch. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Whew. Let's bend your knees. 90 degrees. Back, uh, lower back is flat on your mat, bending the knees, shoulders off the mat, put your hands up. Now, as you straighten your left leg, your left hand goes to your right knee and switch, switch and switch. And get your core five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly. Okay, shoulders off your mat, inhale and tap your knee, your foot down and up, and down and up, and down and up, down and up, five, four, three, two, and one. Alright, bend your knees, tap your knees to your chest, you're going to rock your body up three times. Let's take one, we'll go straight to your both toes. And up. And down. Up. Rolling down. And all the way up. Both toes. So sorry. Now, option one, hands behind your, your hip, your knees are bent. Option two, knees bent, hands next to your legs. Option three, straightening your legs. Stay here. Four, eight. Seven length of the spine and get your core six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. All right. Now let's turn around and go to your tabletop. Now, as usual, we're going to start with your 
I can come, dropping your tummy down, push your chest forward, inhale, look up, exhale, rounding your back to your cat. Inhale, look up. Really push your tailbone to the back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, rounding your back. And back to center. All right, now from here, tuck your toes. Inhale. As you exhale, let's put your downward facing. Set the step your feet, pedal your feet, sway your body side to side. Don't forget to keep on connecting with your breath. Always engage your core, especially in any inversion. A downward dog is actually considered as an inversion because this is where our head is down. Remember that I always tell this to my students, it's all about the journey, not destination. And of course, that does not mean that you should not have your own goal. We should always have our own goal. We should always be motivated to, to improve our lives. You know, but at the same time, we're supposed to enjoy and embrace our journey. Let's have a couple of more breaths. Now we are ready, we slowly pull your feet, push your feet closer to the mat, melting your chest down to your downward facing dog for five breaths. Two more breaths here. Make sure your hips are up high, engaging your core. One more breath. Look at the space in between your palms. The swap for small steps to the top of your mat. And just hanging your hands and hang your head here. Just go with gravity.
Let's take your first knee chest chin. Stay here. Untap the toes and bring the feet down. And push your body up to your low cobra. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Center. Look forward, right knee up, 
and hinge forward, right leg goes up to your sending splits. I really like this, um, this pose because it gives you a bit of um, a deep stretch at the back of your thigh. With a lot of with, with a little bit of balancing practice as well. <laughs> alright, alright, lay down. Let's do the spine inhale. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, pause in the heart center. Center, inhale, extend your arms up. This is where the mask will be. Exhale, pull forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, palms on your mat. Step or jump back to your plank. You may bring your knees down and take your knee chest chin or take your chest around up. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, double. Look at the space and within your palms, bend your knees, step or jump forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, pass the heart center. Let's have that four more rounds. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, down to your forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, pass on your mat. Step or jump back to your plank. Just run down your chest chin. Inhale, cobra or up the dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So get the space in between your palms, bend and you jump or step forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, palms in the heart center. Inhale, extend your arms. Axle down to your forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Axle palms on your mat, step or jump back to your plank. Step run down each chest chin. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Axle down, facing dog. Look at the space in between your palms, bend your knees, jump. Or step forward, half lift, inhale, exhale, pull forward, inhale, rising up, and exhale, palms in the heart center. Another like two rounds now, inhale, extend your arms up, exhale, down to your forward fold, half lift, inhale, exhale, palms on your mat, step or jump back. Ranga on your chest, chin, but make it double. One, up, and two. Inhale, cobra, up, with up. Exhale, down, facing down. Look at the space in between your palms, bend your knees, jump, or step forward. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, pull forward. Inhale, rising up. And exhale, palms in the heart center. Last round, inhale, extend your arms up. Axle down to your forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Axle pass on your mat, step or jump back. Chaturanga on your chest chin, make it double. Inhale, cobra or upper dog. Axle down, facing dog. Take the space in between your palms, bend your knees, jump or step forward. Half lift, inhale, exhale, pull forward. Inhale, rising up, and exhale, pulse in the heart center. All right, you want to get your feet width apart. Bend your knees with your hands up to your chair. You want to make sure that you can see it just from top view. Bring your hips to the back. Core is engaged. Tuck your tailbone in and stop. Can go lower. Right now from here, slowly bend your knees with your squats. Put your hands in the heart center in your squats. And slowly, bring your hip low, put on your mat, bring your knees up to your forward pose. Okay. So your 
option again and you can get your legs straightened or you can bend and change it's your choice. We'll stay here at eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, get your palms on your mat, jump to your plank. Oops. All right, let's take a chaturanga on your chest chin. Inhale, cobra up and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay in your downward facing dog for five breaths. Two more breaths here. One more breath. All right, now let's get your right leg up. Bend your right knee, opening your right knee. Want you to rotate your right knee, rotating, opening your right hip three times. Opposite direction. Feel the hip opening. Don't forget to regulate your breathing. Engage your core. All right, and from here, knee to your nose crunch. Exhale. Move your right knee to your right tricep. Exhale, left tricep. Right leg goes up again. And swing your right leg forward to the top of your mat. Bring your left knee down. Push your hip low. Now right knee, right hand, right palm goes to your right knee. Push your right knee to the side, over to your right side. Stay here, or you can bend your left knee, catch your left ankle, and pull your left ankle towards your hip. And get your core, try not to collapse your left shoulder. And don't put more, so don't put a lot of strength on your left hand. Make sure your strength goes to your core. And release. All right, now get your right hand underneath your right knee. Left knee up, put your hands next to your body, so release it, pose, five, four, three, two, and one, release, put your right um, shoulder off your knee, straightening your right knee now, left knee spine, inhale, exhale, full forward. Your 
release. All right, left shoulder goes underneath the left knee. Going to release it, folks. You can also stay here if you want as you bring your hip low or want a bit more challenge. Right knee up, and get your core, hands back to your body. Five, four, three, two, and one. And release. All right, palms on your mat. Release your left shoulder, straightening the left knee to your pyramid pose, lengthening your spine, and heel. Exhale, four, four. Now look forward, bend your left knee and hinge, push your body up. Right knee bends, right leg goes up. Left hand goes to your right knee as your right hand goes to the back for your twist. Look for your balance here. And slowly getting your right leg to the back for your one. Left leg goes to the back to your plank, double chest around up, a double knee chest chin. Inhale, cobra for upper dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Look at the space in between your palms, bend your knees, jump or step forward. Half lift, inhale, exhale, pull forward. In the right knee up to your chair pose. Together, exhale to your standing position. All right, coming up to your second flow. Look at your feet width apart again. Bend your knees to your chair pose. And from here, slowly bring your palms to the mat, to the center of your heart. Bring your hip low to your malasana or your squatting pose. You can get your feet a little bit more further apart if you want to. I'm going to give it a try for your bakasana, your low pro actually. Palms on the mat. As you exhale, heels up. Look forward, hip up and lift. Or else, just stay wherever you are. Five, four, three. Two and one. Sit down. Bring your palm down. Bring your knees. Bend your knees. Hands next to the body. Now from here, lengthen the spine. Now, toe down and up. Left toe down and up. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. All right. Hands behind your uh, hip now and go for your seated in and out. Bending the knees to your chest. Exhale all the way out. Okay? Bend and all the way up. Five. Exhale. Four. Regulate your breathing. Three. Two. And one. Bend your knees, jump back to your plank, take your double chest around the knee, chest chin, inhale cobra, or upper dog, axle down, facing dog. Alright, right leg goes up now. Bend your right knee, opening your right hip. Drop your right leg to the left side of the mat. Peel your body up to your wall thing. All right, now from here, right knee to the nose crunch. The right knee to your right tricep. Left knee to your left tricep. Right leg goes up again. Swing your right leg forward to the top of your mat. Left knee down. Push your body up. Push and keep low. Now only if you can, if this is not too much for your knee or even your hip, have to bend your left knee, catch your left ankle. And release. Right shoulder goes 
underneath your right knee and bring your left knee up. Move your hands to the side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Straighten the right knee out. Left knee is fun. Inhale. Exhale. Pull forward. And now from here, try to get your left hand next to your right foot. Right palm, right hand goes up to your reverse pyramid. Bring your right hip to the back. Feel that hip opening. I love this pose. No, it's hard. It is not easy. <laughs> All right, right palm goes down. And look forward, hinge forward. Left leg or left knee goes up, hovering off your mat. So bend your left knee first. Option one is go back to where we went for uh, the first floor, where your right knee is on your left knee, left hand to the back. Or option two, the pull of your left toe, left big toe, straighten your left leg, look to the left, Ooh. put your left hand to the back.
and release. Look forward and hinge forward, right leg goes up. Ooh, and your right knee. And then take your option with your right knee bent or left hand catches your big toe, right big toe. Boom. Straighten in the right leg as your right hand goes to the back. And slowly release. Right hand to the back to your warrior one. Palms down. All right, as you get the palms down, drop your right foot over to your right side as your left leg goes to the middle of your mat for your variation of warrior, uh, side plank. Want to engage your core, okay? Push your hip up. Or, if you're feeling a bit strong today, left leg goes to the back, press up for your full side plank. Stay here. Left palm goes down. Double chest round up, double knee chest chin. Inhale, cobra off the dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Just bring your knees down now. Just drag your uh, fingers to the mat. Roll the body up. And slowly get your right hand up, up your toes, right hand goes to your hip, sorry, to your heel, left hand goes to your left heel, push your, push your hip flexor forward, push your chest up, put your head down. The right hand goes on your right hip, left hand goes to your left hip. And get your palms on your mat. Push your knees up. Look forward. Bend your knees. Never jump to the top of your mat. Half the inhale. Exhale. Full forward. In the rising up.
five. Retrieve the obliques, four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Bend your knees, jump back to your plank. Take a double chest to round out of that knee, chest chin. Inhale, cobra, upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Getting your right leg up now. Bend your right knee, opening your right hip. Drop your right leg to the side for your wall thing. Palm goes to your mat, right knee goes to your nose crunch. And right knee goes to your right tricep. Left knee, right knee goes to your left tricep, right knee goes up. And swing your right leg forward to the top of your mat. Now bring your left, your hip low again. And can I just stay here? Take your right knee, put your hands both on your knee or Bend your left knee again. Are you feeling a bit more adventurous? Try to hook your left elbow. Whew, this is a deep one. To your knee. Where your mommy goes. And release. Well, let's do that again. Right shoulder underneath your right knee. Bring your left knee up. Hands like an aeroplane in your music. And release, strengthening the right knee, lengthening the spine, inhale, exhale, go forward. Alright, now look forward. You want to crawl your left hand forward as you get your left leg up. Now, right hand goes up to your reverse halfway. Stay here. You can use the block if you want to. And then bringing both palms down to your standing split. Now, let's bend your left knee. Get your right ankle, left ankle using your right hand and kick back. And release. All right, bring your left knee down now as you bend your right knee. All right, and sit down on your mat. Now from here, get your left elbow to your right knee, twist over your right side. Now, I'm going to show you something, so I'm going to move around, okay? So, there you go, in your twist, right? Like that. Now, from here, get your palms on your mats. Lean forward. You want to bring your hip bump up, okay? And slowly bringing your um, thigh on both of your elbows. Look forward. Straighten both legs. Your ikha pada one. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Go back to where you were. All right. Okay. I know it's a bit complicated. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be more practice. Okay. Second thing. All right. Now from here, you wanna get your right leg on top of left leg on top of your right leg. Okay. So you're sort of crossing your left leg on top of your right leg. Now twist again over to your right side where your left um, tricep is on your left, um, the, at the bottom of your left foot. Okay, now from here, and make sure it's way up here. If there's sweat, just, just wipe off your sweat. Alright, now bring your left leg over to the side. Bring, 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 bring in here. Okay, you want to lean over towards your left side now. Right hand on your right knee. Your yogi dandasana pose. Stay here. My 
because she always says, oh, you can just stop on the phone like that. <laughs> and slowly release. All right. Okay, now let's go back to your plank. Take a chaturanga. Hey, Lou. What you doing here? Double chaturanga. I'm going to your chest chin. Inhale, cobra, upper down. Exhale, down. All right, left leg goes up, bend your left knee here, opening your left hip. Drop your left leg to the side for your wild thing, push your chest up. Left palm back to the mat, left knee goes to your nose, crunch. Then knee to your right tricep, left tricep, and kick back to tree flow, tree, look it down, dog. Now swing your left leg forward to the top of your mat. Bring your right knee down. Push your body up. Your hands can either be on your left knee or you push your hip low. Or if you want to, let's see if I can do this on this side. Bend your right knee. If you want to, there's an option here. Right elbow. Ooh. Okay, let's try this again. Right elbow, hook on your right foot into your pyramid, the yoga to your moment. And release. Now that wasn't an easy pose. <laughs> so mind the right side is tighter than the left, which is very, very normal. If one, maybe for you it's the left side, I don't know. But it's very common to actually have one side tighter than the other. Right, now left. Shoulder underneath your left knee, right knee up. Put your hands, your aeroplane hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Straightening your left knee now. Last thing is five. Inhale, exhale, fold forward to your pyramid pose. Look forward, bend your left knee, crawl your right hand to the corner of your left foot as your left hand goes up to your reverse uh, half moon. Release your left hand down to your standing split. If you can, try to bend your right knee, grab your right ankle using your left hand and kick back. We're almost done. I'm going to put a balance here. Ooh. And release. Bend your left knee. Get your right knee down to the right. All right. Let's do that again on this side. Okay. Now you want to get your right elbow on your left knee and your hook. Turn to your left. I'm going to Rearrange my position so that you can see me more clearly. This is Reiki. She's, she's my first girl. And um, I actually know, I actually named her Reiki before I actually know what Reiki means. Amazing, right? Alright, now, it's like what we did earlier. We're going to go to Ikapada 1. Palms on your mat. Okay? Now, slowly inhale. As you exhale, bring your bum up. You want to bring your thigh on top of your um, tricep and look forward straight in the legs. And release. Ready for your uh, yogi dandasana. Alright, now from here, let's get your right leg on top of your left. Okay. Twist over to your right, to your left side, sorry. Right tricep goes on top uh, at the bottom of your right foot. Now from here, you want to push, 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 push your right leg over to the right side. Like you want to lean over towards the right. You want to lean like that. Okay? The right hand goes next to your right hip. Okay? Left hand goes on your left knee. Right, stay here. And release. Alright, we 
are done. Totally this nice flow, right? <laughs> All right, let's get our feet together and lock the fingers together. Look up in here. Exhale, fall forward. Straighten the legs now. Pointing your toes up, inhale, heads up. Exhale, fold forward. Start from here, slowly release. Pull your body down to your mat, to your brow, whatever to your Try down, inhale. Bend your knees, hug your knees, your chest, rock your body side to side. Drop your knees to the right side, as your left hand goes to the side. Gently bring your awareness back to your body. Move your toes and move your fingers. Get your legs together. Get your hands over your hip for a good long stretch, pointing your toes up. Bend your knees, hug your knees, your chest, rock your body, rock your body side to side, massage your back. Drop your legs over to any sides that you prefer. It doesn't have to be right. It can be any sides that you like today. Now push your body up. Get your eyes closed on your mat. Put your palms in the heart center. Inhale, hands out. Come together, axle down to the heart center. Inhale, hands up. Together, axle down to the heart center. 
One more time, inhale, hands up. Arms together, exhale down to your forehead. May you always honor your wisdom. Down to your lips, may you always pick the truth. Down to your chest center, may you always honor your heart, your love, and your life. Coming back to intention and honoring yourself for being here on the mat today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. Namaste. Thank you everyone. I really hope you enjoyed the flow as much as I did. I'm, um, I'm sweating but um, I'm also feeling rounded which is really really good. And um, if you have any questions you can uh, DM me. Perhaps maybe you want to DM me on um, uh, on my Instagram, which is a Korean Yogi, you can do that. You can even, sh um, if you have any questions about poses and you want to send your video to me and see if you're doing it correctly, please do so and I will try my best to reply and I will try my best to actually send a, a video reply so that I can assist you step by step. Alright, thank you so much. I hope you have a great week. Thank you. Namaste.